Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Julien Barbier. I'm the co-founder of Whole Button School. And I'm here to talk to you about uh, the school I founded in Silicon Valley a few years ago. Uh, it's a computer science school which has no teacher, no classroom, and no upfront tuition. And before I dig into the detail of the school, I want to make sure everybody understands the context uh, in which we are living today. Today, we are entering the fourth industrial revolution, which is essentially the conversions of everything software into our lives, uh, the regular life, but also uh, the work life. And, you know, like everything is going at a pace of computer science now. And so everything is evolving in our society and in, in, in the job market at a very exponential um, speed. And that means many, many things. The first thing that it means is that the world we're going to see uh, forward is going to move super, super fast. And there is no way uh, people know what are going to be the jobs of tomorrow. So if, if you think about you know, a lot of the jobs that exist today, many of them will be destroyed or replaced by other jobs. And those new jobs, nobody knows what they're going to be. The only things we know are twofold. The first thing is uh, people are going to have to retrain and retool at a pace that has been unseen so far. And if you think about it, it has already started a few years ago, right? My grandparents, they had only one job. They were working at the factory and that's, you know, like they were working for only one company their entire life. They never changed jobs. Uh, my parents had two jobs. I had already like different jobs in my life, uh, five of them. And what I think is going to happen is that my kids are going to have to retrain and have like many, many, many jobs. Uh, the second thing is that tech is going to be, that we know of and we're sure of, um, is that tech is going to be everywhere. And so an education in technology, whether a small one or a big one, is very important at any level. So today, the problem with education is that it has not evolved at the pace of the society and the technology, right? If you think about the way we're still teaching people, no matter what age uh, and no matter what field, it's the same as 100 years ago. So you have people in a classroom listening passively to someone and trying to rote memorize everything this person says. And, you know, why do we have this type of education today? It's because of the previous uh, industrial revolution where we had to take people from the countryside, move them to the city to work at factories. And we had to teach them, you know, how to listen to someone saying, yes, madam, you know, yes, sir, raise your hand if you want to take a break, if you want to go to the restroom. And we even have, uh, you know, the bell ringing at the end of each session to train people to change shifts uh, at the factory. You know, and again, like, uh, things like you are not allowed to talk to your peer next to you because it's called cheating. In the, in the real life, you know, outside of schools, uh, you know, you would not even think about something like that. We really want to push people to work together. And so, you know, without going into like further details because we don't have like too much time, you know, like we are training today people to think like robots in an era where robots are going to dominate. And that's really, really wrong. And we have to, you know, like change this paradigm. And on top of that, you know, everything we teach students uh, today, like when it's linked to a job, is most of the time going to be completely obsolete by the time they finish their, their uh, studies. Um, the second big problem that uh, there is around the world is that not everybody has access to quality education. And there's like many, many issues. One of them is, uh, access to capital to get to those good schools. Uh, and another, another aspect of, of, you know, education at scale, if you want to really focus on quality education is that, you know, like around the world, and this is true for any country in the world, there is not enough teachers. We don't have enough teachers to, kid, to teach kids. We don't have enough teachers to, kid, to teach adults. And especially in tech, we don't have those teachers because what's happening is that since nobody and no um, country is able to train enough software engineers for their own need, uh, there is a big war of talent. And the big companies 
And the big tech companies and even the startups sometimes, they poach all the good teachers in computer science to go work for them. And so you have less and less and less qualified teachers, especially in tech. And so what we have put together uh, with my co-founder and, and the rest of the team uh, in, uh, in San Francisco, California, is a school that have no teacher, no classroom, and no upfront tuition in order to address those challenges. No teacher is very important because if you think about the quality of education, again, right now, it really 100% relies on teachers. If you have a good teacher, basically you're gonna have a good education. If you have like a bad teacher, the education that is going to be uh, given to students is going to be very low quality. And if you think about how do you scale quality education, even the big universities like, you know, you name them, like you know, Stanford, Harvard, they cannot scale because of that. They relied on the best teachers. If they had to like, you know, create another school, then it would be the second best teachers and then the third best teachers. And then the quality is going down as they grow, which is exactly what's happening in the regular education system. Because everything at whole button is automated via a software, um, we don't have this problem. And in fact, because it's also complemented by peer learning, you know, which also address the problem of you know, you know, students working together instead of you know, telling them they're cheating if they, if they talk to their peers, um, we have a quality of education that increases as we scale. And so let's talk about outcome because it's, it's, it's great to think you know, about theory, uh, but our outcomes in the US and in Latin America where we have started our first schools is really mind blowing. The people who are coming at Holberton because there's no upfront tuition, uh, you know, anybody can have access to uh, regular to quality education at Holberton School. And so with anybody, we are able to have um, uh, a result, if you link that to salaries, that is, you know, the same as the, uh, the Ivy Leagues in the United States, like Stanford universities. If you look at Colombia, where we, we uh, first expanded, it's exactly the same. If you look at Holberton School, this methodology has better results than the best universities in the country. The way we expand is by partnering with either governments or other companies and entrepreneurship who either, you know, like want to make an impact or are big already in education. And we provide all the software um, so that they can run the schools with their knowledge uh, on the local knowledge. And, you know, I have put in uh, red the schools that are already running around the world. And I have put in green, like all the discussions we've have uh, with like many countries in Africa specifically. Uh, so you can see like we're, we're trying to have like as much of an impact as possible uh, to provide education to, you know, as many people as possible. And our goal is to train a million uh, people around the world by 2030. And with that, I'm going to, um, you know, give you a little bit of time to uh, ask any questions you might have. We have three minutes. Any question? Um, all right. Hi. Hi. Hello. Um, so then my phone went off, so I missed a bit of the session. But then um, I'm from Ghana. And mm -hmm. I wanted to ask that if I wanted like to see the school in my country, what steps would like I or we have to take to see it there? To see this happen, yeah, so it's a great question. Thank you very much. Um, we don't have any conversations for Ghana yet, uh, but we are talking to um, an African entrepreneur who's very well known. But like we we are we are going to be able to announce in January um, to bring this education, which again can be off-site or on-site, uh, to bring it to the entire continent uh, starting next year online. And with the other dots, it's going to be a physical location. Usually what's happening is that either a government or a region or an entrepreneur is reaching out to us because they have uh, understood that they need to really invest into um, you know, computer science programs to train people to be able to 
sustain the growth of the local startup community. And the only way that uh, you know, countries are going to catch up uh, you know, to the United States or China, because right now they're all like two big giants and everybody's like behind, is to train as many software engineers as possible. It's harder today around the world, even in Silicon Valley, it's harder to find good talent than to find capital. This is the new oil of the next, you know, of this generation and probably the next with AI. Um, so to answer your question, people like, you know, uh, contact us and then we work together uh, depending on the budget and uh, depending on the goals, like how big the goal is uh, into like making, making it happen. All right, all right, thank you. Thank you. I think we have the time for an, uh, one last question. Anyone? Okay, so I'm gonna assume that I was very clear in my explanation. Um, I have put my email here and my Twitter. Uh, don't hesitate to contact me if you have further questions or you know, I'd be happy to help you in your project if you wanna bring that type of education to uh, your country. Thank you very much.